Didi Amanda is guaranteed to make you money in the stock market. It's the number one stock screener and scanner. And we have hundreds of testimonials that verify this. Plus you get one hour of free one-on-one -on -one training and instant support. Our testimonials are insane. Check them out. You know, a lot of people think that concrete dries. It doesn't. It hydrates, which means it's the water that cures it. Okay? That's why I'm getting this hole wet. I'm working on the the base of this support beam. There we go. I've got it kind of set up here, so what's going to happen is this is just an emergency or a safeguard, and I set it up here, and it's been windy, so this is how much it drove it down, as it were, and what I'm going to do is when this concrete that I'm going to pour sets up, I'm going to put a shim underneath that and cut this distance in half. In other words, I don't want this to directly support this. I want it to stop it if it starts going down too far. So we're going to put a shim in there to leave about half of this space in here. Okay, let's go to the globity globity machine and mix up some mud. Some mud. Okay, this is my globity globity machine. Machine. Red, white, and blue, baby. Red, white, and blue. There's some water in here. And let's go three or four for one. I'm just using desert dirt because this is not structural by any means. And let's get a little bit of cement. Throw that in there. Spray it so it's not too dusty. And keep going. I'm actually going to use all this cement up. My flip-flop just popped. This is how I like to open it. Cut a square and then you can do that to it and get more. Oh, wow, there's a lot more left than I thought. Maybe I won't use all of it. I like to do that so there's not too much dust. Oh, it soaked up the water. It's hot today. Got some on the bottom there. Could have sprayed some WD-40 on there first. It's kind of sticking. Globity, globity. Yeah.
Ah, oh, that's really soaking it up. More cement. Kind of tell by the color, you know. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's give it some more. Better to have too much than not enough, right? I would have made a good crab fisherman. You know why? Because I keep my feet planted when I'm doing this. And on a crab boat, you want to keep your feet planted so you don't get caught in the rope and get dragged overboard when they drop those pots. Let's let that mix up real well. Let's throw some more in just for grins. And then I gotta fix my flip flop. <laughs> You don't want to breathe that. Alright, let me go fix my flip flop. We'll let this mix. Well, let's get the terminology straight. This is cement. This is concrete. Oh, that's looks pretty nice. Pretty sure that's enough. Seems like it. Okay. Oh, and concrete waits on no man. Concrete doesn't even wait for God. It will set up, believe me. It sets up a lot better underground, I mean underwater, than it does. I mean, it'll set up just fine. Underwater. Trusty trowel. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's dump it. That looks pretty good. And one trick for tilting up a wheelbarrow is put your foot right there and then tilt it. That's good for gravel, too. Shit, I should have aired up this tire, I think. <laughs> and very important, always clean it off right afterwards. White, blue, red. You gotta get behind those things too. Let's get a little bit up in there. Let's stop it and get behind these veins. I want to. 
behind the Very important. Clean it nice. Clean. Alright, let's go to the hole. I guess there is enough air in there. It's a little hard to push. Might be a little watery. <coughs> Let's move the chair out of the way. Move this other stuff out of the way. There we go. Now, I'm going to use this bucket. Get it in there. I got enough. <laughs> and here's how you make it go down. You uh, make it liquid like quicksand. That makes it flow real nice. You don't have to rot it. Okay, let's get the rest of this. Pretty good. Okay, so I didn't get back there. I'm gonna build it up just here a little bit. Now we gotta let it 
get to the first stage. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm going to clean up these tools and uh, we're going to have a brace. Now my father taught me to always put a silver coin in anything concrete that you pour. So I, oh that was just great. See? The demons are already here. And what the silver coin does is it keeps the, the demons and the uh, bad guys away. So, we're going to drop this sucker in here. And uh, now it's protected from evil spirits and demons. I'm actually using a one ounce silver coin, which is kind of going extravagant, but it's worth about 25, 30 bucks, so I guess that's not too much to spend on this, is it? And then, you put the date. I like to put the date. So we got, it's a little bit wet still, but M, yeah, it's too early for that. I'll do that a little later. But she used Roman numerals like, what's the date, 2023? So it would be MM uh, XX 111 23 2023. I like to put the month in too, even the day. Okay. Okay, it's important to keep concrete wet while it's drying. I've been pouring water on it. I got the date scratched in. 6 25 mm 1000 2000 20 1 2 3 2023 Roman. You have to do Roman. So you just keep it all wet until it cures. Keep it wet for about a week. And that's it. I got my coin here. And we're about ready to, in about another few days, I'm going to put a shim under here. I'm just going to put a piece of 4x4 four four underneath here. And then we're going to close up that gap about halfway. And then whenever the wind moves it far enough, this will support it. But it won't be rubbing on it all the time. Okay, that's it on that. And I poured some more water on there. Concrete will cure totally underwater. has no problem with it. It needs the water. You don't want it to dry out. You want it to hydrate. If you let it dry out, it'll, it'll fuck it all up. So you got to keep it wet. Okay. Okay, I pulled up on this. I closed the gap. So now, I cut a couple of shims. Let me close it up quite a bit. So I'm going to slide this in. There we go. And here's a real thin one. I don't know if that one will go in too, maybe. I can always pull it up a little bit more if it doesn't. Let me do that. There. We'll go in. Maybe let's pull it up a little bit more even. There. 
That should be good. Hmm. There it goes. Almost goes. <laughs> Flip on it a little more. Let's see what our gap is. We still got a gap. There. So I think it's touching now. And in it goes. Beautiful. Okay. So now, when the wind blows, it'll push it down a little bit, or I can push it down by hand. Oh, there it is. It already slid down. So there we go. Dialed in, baby. Cool. So this is our safety, just in case the tree wants to fall down. This will brace it. Oh, I'm going to put a, a steel L here. Something so this doesn't slide up. I'm going to lag bolt that in. A steel L here. Okay. Everybody that tries Dee Dee Amanda absolutely loves her. These are all unsolicited, by the way. We didn't even ask people. I love you guys. Yeah, I love the program. So worth it. Probably made 500k. This guy's up 30k. Having everything I need to research on one page is definite time saver. Single day, 1525 profit. 15k on my first TD. Look at this guy. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this one, man. This guy says he made 30 million. <laughs> Read this shit. I don't know. I, he sounds kind of legit. <laughs> I fucking love DD Amanda. Your program is the best tool I've ever used in the last 20, 21 years. It just goes on and on. Here's just a few examples of stocks that DD Amanda found. Here you got a five factor stock, scan alert. Next day she's up 59%. Now, all this is on the right side here is just 200 days worth of trading data. You have your date, your dollars traded, the price it closed at this factor that's proprietary to the program this is how we find these the volume the low of the day higher the day open and then percentage up or percentage down LVGI 200 day low scan alert and look at this drag ratio maxed out up 50 percent and then 75 percent IGEX 200 day low scan alert seven factor next day up 47 percent Again, another 200-day low scan alert up the next day, 106%. These are easy to find with our scanner. So if you want to make money trading stocks, DD Amanda is your answer. Okay, if you trade stocks or if you're even thinking about trading stocks, this is for you guys. This is what you need. Uh, this is DD Amanda. It's the number one stock screener and scanner that's out there. Um, and it uses both uh, user input and AI to find and research winning stocks. And this is, it says right here, easy enough to use by total beginners. Um, there's really no learning curve at all. You can be finding stocks within about five minutes after you, you know, log in. And it also has a lot of advanced features that uh, are used by professional traders. Our mission is to help you make money by investing in stocks. That's the bottom line. That's what you want from something like this, you know. Now, I use this all the time, and I've found some amazing runners. Uh, you've got here, look at this. They give you one hour of free one-on-one -on -one training and instant support. Having good support on a program is just so critical, you know. I mean, here's their phone number right here. You can just call and text. Um, they've got some testimonials here. I want to show you these. Because uh, they're pretty amazing. I mean, look at this. This is what people think of her. Uh, I love you guys. Yeah, I love the program. Uh, this guy made 500K. This guy's up 30K. Uh, everything I need to research. Uh, 
I wasn't even in a man of one one week and he made ten thousand bucks. So these testimonies it just goes on and on here. So anyway, they've got a if you want to try I look at all these features, uh dollars traded, seven MA crossovers, all sorts of stuff. Um but they've got an eight dollar tri a day trial subscription so you can check her out and see if you like her. Um and then some other subscription levels here. Anyway, I highly recommend this, guys, and uh, do check it out and make some money.